you've tried flashing 6.1 as bundled in the motherboard firmware and it hasn't worked for you, this is the solution for you. If you're running with 6.1 already, just fine. You can ignore all of this. It doesn't relate to you. And it's now posted on the uh, CR6 touchscreen firmware repository. It's uh, a zip file. And inside you'll find DWIN set. Do not copy anything else to that folder. You don't need kernel upgrade files anymore. This one works on your display, no matter what DGIS you're running, anything over 2.0 anyway. Go here to the CR6 touchscreen repository. And here on the releases section, you'll find a new release. Start with the readme files. You'll notice the first thing it tells you is how to find out which DGIS you have on your screen. If you don't know what I mean when I say flash an empty DWIN folder to your display, jump to video 5. There's a link in the description to the reality version that says take the cover off the back and stick your card in because I don't do that. I have an extender in mine. Come back with an empty DWIN fo set folder on your card. Stick it in and flash. You'll see all zeros down the right-hand side and across the top on the blue screen on the top line it'll say DGIS something. Once you know what you have on there you'll know how to proceed. If you find 4.5 or higher then this is the only DWIN set that you can flash to your display without giving yourself grief. So if you've gone ahead and flashed 3.5 to a screen that used to have 4.5 on it, stick this card in, you flash it, an empty folder, it's going to say 3.5 but if you want to put 4.5 back on there, since Creality haven't made that published, and the DWIN guys seem to have taken it down if it was ever up, we've given you a copy. So in the DGIS kernel folder, there are now two files. One that puts 3.5 kernel on your machine, one that puts 4.5 kernel on your machine. They are purely there to help you get yourself back out of a hole you dove in because you accidentally overwrote the one that, for which the display is currently calibrated. Call to release candidate simply because I'm being deferential. I'm being super careful not to oversell what may or may not still have a bug in it. It's possible, for instance, that if you have a Max, which I do not, you may find an issue I cannot. You'll need to let me know. Be transformed from release candidate to formal release when we have enough confidence in the group that this is, the, this is it, it's working, and this is the way to go. This version has been recreated in a different tool than the original. So it's entirely possible there's a button I didn't push during my test cycle, there's a something that's uh, missing, say uh, somebody caught me at one point, the, the degree C was missing from a field. So if you can find anything at all that doesn't look right to you on this display, please post an issue for me. You've got plenty of instruction in the readme file. Enjoy. If you have any issues, please get back to me. Either comment on the video or comment in the Discord under LCD Discussion. I am Thinker's Bluff, and I wish you a good time. Bye-bye.